the plaintiff's case is that their water supplies and lands could be polluted and damaged from nearby spraying. As well, the Micmacs claim that their aboriginal rights would be violated by the spraying of crown land. The plaintiffs also argue that manual weeding of forests is effective and creates employment in rural areas. Witness for the plaintiffs, Dr. Jan Newton, a San Francisco economist, has proved this in her studies. They have claimed without foundation that only the chemicals provide a larger volume at the end of the rotation, at, at harvest. Only the chemicals do. That if they use workers in the woods to release the conifers, they don't get any additional growth. They say, in fact, that, that they lose growth because the workers wander around and, and, and uh, stumble on the conifers and kill them. I mean, they make ludicrous statements. but. So that's where the jobs argument comes. If they are allowed to cut more now, a lot more, because they say they're growing more in the future, then there's more wood for the mills, there's more jobs for mill workers, there's more jobs for loggers, and that's the jobs argument. There isn't necessarily more forest in the future, though. There is very likely less forest in the future, because if the herbicides don't have the benefit, the yield benefit they're claiming, then they are cutting more now than they are actually providing an increased yield, and there's going to be a timber shortfall in this province of staggering proportion about 40 years down the road. I mean, you're going to have a crisis.